Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today's an easy one. We're going to be installing a new 220 circuit here. I picked up a new tool for the shop here. As an upgrade, instead of being a 110 motor, it uses 220. Unfortunately, both this outlet down here and this outlet here are 110. So I need 220 here so that this can plug into it. The electrical panel is right here, so it should be real easy to get power over to it. What we'll do is we'll come out of here, follow this conduit you can kind of see back here into this, and then run up and put a box probably right here. If you take a look at this, it looks similar to your standard 110 plug, but instead of being up and down, this one goes side to side. So we need to put in an outlet that has this. This is a 20 amp 220. If you take a look here, we've got this side to side, and then this one is an up and down. It'll actually take either up and down or side to side on that, but got a box to put it in a cover for the box. What's important here is these covers, this hole, they are about four different sizes for electrical. So make sure if you're doing this, that this matches the outlet that you have. This one is a 1.406 diameter. Lastly, got a 220 circuit breaker for the panel. 220 breakers have two side-by-side -side typically that are connected together by a bar here. The plan is to come from the box, which is right over there. We'll just run the wires down through that piece of conduit. And I'll take another piece of conduit, come up beside this light switch. That's just for a crawl space up above us here. And then I'll put this box probably somewhere right about here. First order of business. Get this mounted with some conduit down to this box so we can pull wire. It was right about this point that my microphone died. I didn't notice that the battery was dead, so I'll have to just do some voiceover narration here for a little bit. Basically, we're just going to put in the box, install it on the wall, And now she's mounted. Next, we've got to run wires up to here from the box over here. And we'll just run them through this conduit. Next up is important safety. The power comes in here to this 100 amp circuit breaker. This breaker here powers the rest of this panel, so we want to make sure we shut it off. Once that is off, the rest of these circuit breakers are no longer live. Another important note here is not all circuit breakers are the same. This panel is a Siemens and it requires Siemens breakers. You can see here the type is marked on it. Make sure you don't get one that is the wrong type, like this square D, which fits another panel in my house. The way these circuit breakers work is on one end, it's got little tabs that hook underneath here, then it has contactors which go into the back plane circuits here. So we just hook it in and then push it in and now this is in. Now we need to run three wires, one from common here, then one from each of these poles. So we're going to run those three wires down through this piece of conduit here. Out here, then up to there. This is a very short run, so I'm just going to take the three wires and push them together. If it was a longer run, I might run a fish tape through, tape them together and then pull it back, or tape all three together and push them down through. So 
So pull it through to the next junction box, pull enough wire out to reach your next point. That way the only wire you're actually pulling is from here to here. Each one of the live poles is going to connect to one of these terminals and the neutral will go right here onto this ground. Because this has exposed screws, just as a general rule, I like to wrap it with electrical tape. This way, if you're working on it or anything gets in there, it's less likely to arc between here and those terminals. Because this plug has the ground really facing down, I'm gonna install it with the ground plug down. Normally, I, my preference is up, but we'll just go with what they've got. I like to leave a fair amount of tail up in there in the event that some work has to be done on this in the future, you've got a little bit of extra wire to, to pull from. Next we'll put a faceplate on. Again, those faceplates have different size holes, so make sure that the outlet you select matches the faceplate, or the faceplate matches the outlet, however you want to look at it. So the outlet is in, I'll go back and reinstall these, and then we'll wire the panel. Alright, got common and two live wires. Common's just going to go up to this bus bar. Each one of the live wires go to a terminal on the breaker. Do a tug test on them, make sure they don't pull out. Before I close it up, I like to at least make sure that it's working. So I'll turn on the master. And I'll turn on this breaker. Plug in the lathe. And test it out. Good to go. Before we close it up, we have to knock out these two blanks for the breakers I just put in. Now we just put the cover back on and we're done. And that's how you run a new circuit. Thanks for watching.